In this video, we're going to prove by induction that 3 over 1 squared times 2 squared plus 5 over 2 squared times 3 squared, etc., up to 2n plus 1 over n squared n plus 1 squared is equal to 1 take away 1 over n plus 1 squared. OK, so we start off by proving that it is true for n equals 1. So the left-hand side is 2 lots of 1 plus 1 over 1 squared times 1 plus 1 squared. So we've got 2 plus 1, so 3 in the numerator, and we've got 1 times 2 squared, so 4. So this is 3 quarters. The right-hand side is 1 take away 1 over 1 plus 1 squared. So that's 1 take away 1 over 2 squared, so 1 quarter, and that's 3 quarters. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, so it is true for n equals 1. Step 2, we're going to assume that it's true for n equals k. So that would be the summation of 2n plus 1 over n squared n plus 1 squared uh, from n equals 1 up to k is equal to 1 take away 1 over k plus 1 squared. Step 3, we need to prove that it's true uh, for n equals k plus 1. So uh, we would have the summation uh, of 2n plus 1 over n squared n plus 1 squared from n equals 1 up to k plus 1 and that is equal to the summation of 2n plus 1 over n squared n plus 1 squared from n equals 1 to k, plus the extra term when I substitute in the k plus 1. So we get two lots of k plus 1, plus 1 in the numerator, over k plus 1 squared, and then k plus 1 plus 1, so k plus 2 squared. OK. Now remember, we have assumed that this is equal to this. 1 take away 1 over k plus 1 squared. And we've now got this. So I can simplify the numerator. We've got 2k and 2 times 1 plus 1, so plus 3, over k plus 1 squared, k plus 2 squared. Right, so let's think about what we want to show. What do we need to arrive at? So we want to show that. The sum of 2n plus 1 over n squared n plus 1 squared from n equals 1 to k plus 1 is equal to 1 take away 1 over k plus 1 plus 1, so k plus 2 squared. Oh, right. So, we want to get from this to this. Now, clearly, I don't want to do anything with the 1. I'm going to leave that alone. So, what I need is for these two terms to combine to make that term there. So, 1 take away. Well, what would be easiest? Well, I think what would be probably easiest is if I um, combine denominators to start off with. So, we've got k plus 2 squared extra is here, so I'm going to multiply this one top and bottom by k plus 2 squared. So take away by k plus 2 squared over k plus 1 squared, k plus 2 squared, plus the 2k plus 3 over k plus 1 squared, k plus 2 squared. Right, now they've got the same denominator, I can combine them. I've got the 2k, well, let's have plus... Um, I've got the 2k plus 3 minus k plus 2 squared over this k plus 1 squared, k plus 2 squared. Now I'm going to have to simplify this numerator. Uh, so 2k plus 3, take away k squared, take away 4k, take away 4 over k plus 1 squared, k plus 2 squared. Right, I'm going to be running out of room, so I'm going to have to go up here now. 
Okay, so we've got 1 plus, we've got the minus k squared. I've got 2k take away 4k. I've got 3 take away 4. Okay, now I need it to be 1 minus, so let's factor out the negative. So I've got k squared plus 2k plus 1 now in the numerator. Now that numerator is a perfect square, factorises to k plus 1 all squared, which is lucky because I've got a k plus 1 squared in the denominator. So that term and that term cancel, and I'm left with 1 take away 1 over the k plus 2 squared as I wanted. Okay? So this one took a bit of algebraic manipulation to get there. But I'm there. So as it is true, for n equals 1, and if true, for n equals k, then I've shown it's true for n equals k plus 1. So it must be true for all integers n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, and so that completes the proof.